Welcome. I often do work related to liquid simulation with this setup. These basic settings are enough to create the effects shown in the examples. Let's look at each of them now. Houdini setup. In Houdini, the setup can be more flexible and the preview is faster. In the sim folder, I have collected two presets, high poly mesh and preview mesh. In the curve section, you can change the flow direction, but the main thing is that the beginning should be from the center of coordinates or near the object from the emit folder. It emits particles for us. Also in the POP4 settings, you can change the values in order to get different simulation results. In POP Curve Force, the main settings will be air resistance and orbit scale. Experiment with them to get dizzying results of the flow. Blender setup. In Blender, I usually render the final result, so the scene is set up with light and materials. Now there is a real-time preview, and you can see what happens. But for the final result, it is worth changing the parameters a little. You can also change the direction of the flow, In the object called Domain, it is worth increasing the resolution division. I recommend from 90 to 200. In the Cache section, select All, and the folder where you want to save the cache and click Bake All. This will take some time. And you get a detailed water flow with splashes. In the shader settings, you can play with the color of the water. You can also turn off splashes, spray foam bubbles, try it, good luck to everyone in simulations.